Hi, my name is CJ. I came to Senecor March 3rd, 2020. Uh, came here uh, because I wanted to get better. Uh, obviously, I was an active addiction out there in the world. And I came here because I wanted to get a better sense of, of what I needed to do to get better. And I wanted a sense of community. Um, and uh, Senecor is doing a great job of providing that. Um, you know, we're kind of in this bubble here with what's going on with the COVID-19. And a lot of us have uh, cares and concerns about what that looks like going out. Um, I think the major concern is resources and networks for us to plug into. I know when I was out there in my active addiction, I felt very distant from what was going on around me uh, and just humanity in general. It felt like I was very unplugged. And so I'm actually really grateful that I got to come in at this time and uh, kind of reset and get to a place where I can acknowledge that I need to plug into some networks and re some networks and resources. Uh, to get better, um, especially leaving here. But um, obviously what's going on out there is, is, is for a lot of us, it's really hard to understand. Uh, we're seeing things mainly through hearsay. And so we're not getting a whole picture here. Um, but what brought me here and, and what I want to walk into is a better life. And so um, as this is all kind of unfolding for everybody, the COVID-19 scare that's going on right now is what is available to us. Uh, obviously, we a lot of us understand and, and what we've learned here is that we have to plug into communities and networks of people that are like us to help us continue to get better. Uh, nobody can empathize with us better than other addicts and alcoholics, plus that sense of community that some of us are, are so, so yearning for inside. And so we know we gotta plug into those, but also what resources and networks do we need to plug into as far as employment, housing, and um, also maybe therapy and and whether that's, you know, uh, getting one on one therapy or um, also having to get maybe on medications. So hospitals and things of that nature. Um, I really want to say how much I appreciate the opportunity to be here and the privilege to kind of speak to you guys about all of our cares and concerns. And I hope that I'm able to adequately speak for the group when I'm uh, voicing kind of what we all are worried about going forward. So thank you so much for the opportunity. I really appreciate it.